Hey guys and gals, it's your dude, Sober Chef Eric, back once again. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to make tuna poke and a tuna poke power bowl. That's right, power bowl. All right, hang on just one second, I'll be right back after this intro. Alrighty guys and gals, thanks for hanging out during the intro. Alright, first thing you're going to need is 8 ounces of diced raw tuna. Now, some of you may be asking, do I need sushi grade? Yes and no. Uh, sushi grade, uh, sushi grade 1 tuna basically means that once it's been cut, it doesn't touch any other fish or anything. But if you go to Whole Foods or a good fishmonger or something like that and buy fresh sushi grade tuna, you're looking at over $20 a pound. Well, a lot of states aren't even allowing fresh tuna anymore, but you can buy frozen tuna, which is going to kill any of that bacteria that might make you sick. And I got a 12 ounce package of this. Let me show you what it looks like. I buy this stuff all the time and of course now I can't find it there we go King Supers I believe it's $7.99 frozen so I just thought I don't put it in water to thaw it because that's gonna take away some flavor but, so, I thaw it in the fridge, and then dice it, and as you can see, not a big dice. So, pretty simple. We're going to add some sliced green onions, not that many. We're going to add some sesame seeds. We're going to add some whole hemp seeds. We're going to use coconut aminos. Now, if you're not allergic to soy or gluten, you can use regular soy sauce, but this is gluten and soy free. If you just uh, have a gluten allergy, then you can use tamari and then some good sesame oil. And so, pretty simple. Oh, and also, because I like myself spicy, I'm going to be using some Shishimi Togarashi. That's a 7 to 9 pepper blend, Japanese. And looks a little something like that. Yeah. So, we're going to start with half a teaspoon sesame oil. And we're going to give that this little toss. And if you notice, I didn't show any salt that we're going to be using because in the coconut aminos or tamari or soy sauce, whatever your choice is, there's plenty of sodium in there. And we've got one tablespoon. So we have half a tablespoon of sesame oil, full tablespoon of coconut aminos. And you see how it's getting a nice little coat on there? You don't want it real heavy. You don't want a whole ton. When you do this, you don't want to see a whole bunch. You want just enough to coat. Now, this is one bunch. And as you can see, sliced very thin. So we're going to use about a third of it. Oh, no, we'll use about a half of it. And then the other half we're going to use mixed in with the power bowl. And for the power bowl, you can use quinoa, you can use pretty much any of the ancient grains and everything. Make it nice, simple, and easy on myself because you know how I like quick and easy and tasty. I've got brown rice and quinoa. Yep, that's right, 90 seconds. 
and it's ready to go. Gotta love that. All right, in here, I've got half of a teaspoon of the whole hemp seeds. I have half a teaspoon of the white sesame seeds. Now you can use black if you want. Might look a little like fly poop, but you know, each his own. Now we're gonna add uh, half a teaspoon of Toborashi. Now if you don't like spicy, leave this out. If you want it even spicier, you can add some sriracha or however you want to pronounce that. And then you want to leave this sit for at least five minutes, refrigerated. And we're going to move on to the Power Bowl part as soon as I do 90 seconds in the microwave, microwave. Alrighty guys and gals, I am back. I heated this up for 90 seconds. And this has got two cups of rice. And per serving, it's got 240 calories. So, no cholesterol, no trans fat, one gram saturated fat, total carbs 44 grams per serving. And there's two one cup servings. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to season this up just the same way I seasoned up the poke. Yep. So I'm going to start with the sesame oil. Mm -mm -mm. Coconut aminos. Exact same amounts. Half tablespoon, tablespoon. Half teaspoon of whole hemp seeds half teaspoon of sesame seeds and this is these are optional you know I like them if you don't like them no biggie no big whoop and then the rest of the bunch of green onions now we're gonna give this a little stirry stir stir stirry stir stir stirry stir stir Yeah, so now it comes to make our power bowl. So we're gonna take about half this mixture. So there we go. There's that. Ooh, and I'm gonna set it over here where it's not gonna make a mess. And then we're gonna use about half of our tuna mixture or half of the poke so that'll be about four ounces of poke and I'm gonna make a nice little bowl in the center of that quinoa and rice there we go a little wipey wipe and here we go tuna poke power bowl All right, guys and gals, here we are. We're back. We've got our wonderful tuca, tuna poke, tuca, 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 tuna poke power bowl. So I'm going to give it, it was all nice and pretty. Now I'm going to give it a nice little stir. See? Nice and incorporated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Mm. Y'all don't know what you're missing, man. You don't know what you're missing, I'm telling you. Follow the recipe, it'll be down below. If you like this video, hit a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, baby. All right, I will talk to you later. And remember, life's too short to eat bad food.